in the New Testament, praise the Lord. Even the word favor, as we are seeing in the Old Testament, in the New Testament is actually defined as charis, or it denotes actually grace. Someone say grace. grace. And gr favor can be earned, but you cannot earn grace. Yeah. Hallelujah. In the New Testament now, praise the Lord, we live under grace. That's what the Bible says, the law came through Moses, yeah. but grace yeah. has come through Jesus Christ. Yeah. There is something, listen, expecting favor in our everyday life, but there's something about God. He never runs out, and he will not run out over your life. He makes things better and better. That's why we can expect better things to come. Ah, it's not over until God says so. Praise the Lord. I can expect things to work out better for me. I can expect that things will change. I reject evil and I accept all good. I can expect that your life will be turned around for the better. And when you see things like they're not working out, begin to confess better. That things will get better in the name of Jesus. When the enemy tries to put that sickness over you, decree and declare by his stripes, I am healed. Reject that image of going to the hospital. Reject that image of things getting worse and worse. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, we cut it off in Jesus' name. It doesn't matter. With God, he has a way of revealing things better and better. Or somebody needs to relax and let go of all the stress and pressure of things getting worse. The devil is a lie. You are in God's kingdom. In God's kingdom, things go from glory to glory. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Hallelujah. We go from faith to faith. Yes. And your faith is growing. Someone say, my faith, my faith is, growing. is growing. I see God. I see God. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Name. So in the New Testament, we have God's favor. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. This is the favor, the same favor that came on Mary. You know, Mary is a young girl that was favored by God. Every woman in uh, Israel wanted to be the one who, who would birth out the Messiah. Yeah. They were expecting it. Yeah. And when Mary was, uh, you know, angel came by Mary, the angel said, you are the favored one. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. You are the favored one. God favors you in the name of Jesus. And she didn't question many things. She just questioned how things were going to go. But we said, you know what? With God, nothing shall be ever impossible. With God, nothing. She was told nothing will ever be impossible. And what did she say? Let it be unto me. That's your case. Amen. Let it be unto me according to the word of God. All that you, our response today, when you hear that, oh, I can expect favor in my everyday life, don't think about how it's going to work out. How is God going to turn this thing around? No, it's let it be unto me. According to God's yes, word. Lord. May the Lord do everything that he desires to do. Yes. Because when sin abounds, listen, grace, yeah. praise the Lord. Grace is God's gift. You don't work for it. Lord, I receive your grace. You don't work for it. Praise the Lord. It's a free gift. It's a free gift from the Lord our God. And let me show you another scripture. That, imagine, that was all my introduction. Isn't that God awesome? <laughs> oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, we serve a mighty God. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 6. Oh, we will be done on time, but that was my introduction. <laughs> God is good. Ephesians 1. No, but we kind of come to the place where we are expecting good. We are expecting good. Because God's favor or God's grace releases his blessing in our lives. Amen. Ephesians 1, 6. If we have this, say amen. Thank you. Amen. It says, to the praise of his glory. <clears throat> to the praise of God's glory, by which he made us accepted. I wanted you to see that. Yes. That's your positioning. That you are ex accepted in the beloved. Yes. Praise the Lord. We are, we've come to his circle and we are accepted in the beloved. So right there it deals with the, the issue of rejection. 
orphan, or being an orphan, an orphan spirit. But Jesus said very clearly that he will never leave us nor forsake us in everyday life. In fact, he says, I will be with you always, according to Matthew 28. I am with you always. I am with you when you're in trouble. Favor is still working. Because if God is with you, then favor is flowing. Grace is flowing. Amen? God's grace is working for you. And this is how we, we receive that favor is God's anointing. Favor releases God's blessing in your life. Amen. God's favor on your life will be evident because you are the accepted in the beloved. Amen. So the example that I have about favor is Joseph's life. I was reading about Joseph's life, you know. There are many examples in the scriptures, of course, about God showing grace. But something about Joseph's life that shows that God does not change. Even when situations change and difficult situations show up, God is constant. Because he says that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So uh, let's take a look at it uh, so you can see for yourself. Uh, Genesis 26. So we read a few scriptures. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we come. We, We read the word of God together, and then you go back and read it again. Thank you, Jesus. So it's amazing that, you know, God, God's will for his people to live under his blessing and his, 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 his favor, his grace has never changed. Sin did not change it. But God was still looking for somebody whom he can pour all his grace upon because he knew that one day somebody is going to be birthed out. Christ will be birthed out on this earth to pay the full penalty for sin. And uh, for uh, Joseph, God did something for Joseph. He was beloved of his father, of course. But God gave him a special anointing of dreams. And he could, God began to speak to him through dreams. dreams. Hallelujah. And he could interpret dreams. And it came to a time whereby, I mean, his brothers were jealous of him. And they sold him out into Egypt. And it looks like it's grim, like they, how is God ever going to bring to pass, you know, uh, the plans that he has for Joseph. But here he is in Egypt, and he continues to face trouble, even in Egypt. But take a look at what God was doing. In uh, Genesis 39, he, uh, um, Joseph ended up being sold out to uh, Potiphar in Pharaoh's household. First of all, the, you know, the brothers wanted to kill him. Yeah. Reuben said, well, just put him in the pit, and I'll come and take him out later. Yeah. But then the, the, uh, Reuben went somewhere, and then this, the, the brothers took him out and sold him right. out to a land that he did not know, and he was only a young lad. Mm-hmm. You know. And then, because God does not sleep. Listen, your father, your heavenly father, does not sleep nor slumber. He watches over his people. In fact, the Bible says the eyes of the Lord run to and fro across the whole earth. Hallelujah. Looking whom, who is loyal, loves them so that he can show himself strong. So for Joseph, although he was taken to Egypt, God had a plan for him, right? And he was placed in the house of Potiphar. And serving, serving for nothing really, Right? And in verse 2, verse 2, it says that, but the Lord was with Joseph. Even in Egypt, the Lord was with Joseph. And he was a successful man. So you can be successful even right there where you think that things are not working. Because God is with you. Hallelujah. When God is with you, you will be successful in that which you are doing. Remember, favor, this was uh, uh, Joseph's everyday life. It was life just, you know, serving as a servant. His father was in there. His brothers weren't there. It was not the right situation. But he kept his focus on the God who gave him the dreams. Hallelujah. And the the, the scripture says in verse 3, and his master saw that everything that he did is prosper. And verse 4, take a look at verse 4 for the sake of time. It says that, um, so Joseph found favor in his sight, right? And served him 
Then the Lord made him overseer. The, the, then he made him overseer of his house. And all that he had put under his authority. And it looked like it was all nice and everything prospered. And to Potiphar's wife uh, um, took advantage of him and lied. God was still working. Well, if God is working, why is this person lying about Joseph? And then, and then Joseph ends up being thrown to prison. But he's still anointed. Yes. Yes. He's still favored by God. Yes. Yes. Even in the prison place, God was still favoring him. Yes. Right. In fact, God, the word of God says the prison master put Joseph over the old prison. Right. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I truly believe that he kept his connection with the Lord. Yeah. Because he told Potiphar's wife, I cannot do that. How can I sin against my God? Right. He was in the inner circle of God. Yeah. When you're in, in God's inner circle, you will reject Satan. Yeah. You will reject the world. Yeah. Hallelujah. And, and then, then God continued to use them even in prison. Yes. And even when the, 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 the Pharaoh threw the cup bearer into the prison yeah. and the, the baker into the prison, it's Joseph who noticed them, mm -hmm. but they were sad. You would think that Joseph would be the one who is sad. Right. I'm here right. for nothing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But Joseph is like, why are you looking so sad? I'm like, look at me working in prison. Like, what's going on? You know? Why are you looking so sad? And you know, the cup bearer said, well, I dreamt a dream and told a dream. And Joseph interpreted the dream positively. And the baker says, oh, he got a nice one. I'm going to get one, too. I'm going to tell, you know, my dream. Can you tell me the meaning of my dream? Yeah. And it was the opposite. Yeah. And you will think after the cup bearer, listen, God is still with Joseph. That's right. But it doesn't look like it is. Right. We got to keep our focus on the God who called you. Yes. He's still with you. His favor is still with you when it looks like the, the, the bill collectors are calling. Yes. Even when they're calling, God's favor is still on you. The bills will be paid. Yes. <laughs> they will still be paid. Yes. They can garnish you. They will still be paid. Yes. In the name of, you will still come out on the other side. Amen. Those are times that they call me, garnish me, did all these things, sued me on top of it. Yeah. On my job. <laughs> and I knew what to do. Brought the letters out to Jesus. I know Jesus. Yeah. Brought the letters out to Jesus. Said, Jesus, here it is. Yeah. But before you know, everything was all cleared up. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, the Lord will bring up your credit score. Yes. And one day you're not even going to need it. No. In the name of Jesus, you will not need the loan. They keep no, looking at right. credit scores yeah. and they change them yeah. Yeah. based on <laughs> what they want to do. Yeah. We are not dependent on yeah. that system in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You might be for a while, but you're coming out. Yeah. You might be look like you're in prison like jo Joseph here, but you're coming out. Because even the cup bearer forgot Joseph. Yeah. For two years? Yeah. That's right. And I gave you a good, what God showed me about That's your right. life? That's right. And you're supposed to go to that king yeah. and mention just my name. I'm here for nothing. Yeah. 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 But God is still working it out. Somebody said, Jesus, work it out. Jesus. He is still working it out in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But the day came. Oh, the day came. When the king himself dreamt a dream yes. and nobody else could actually explain That's it. Right. That's and right. to make it sure, God made sure that the king dreams the dream twice yeah. in two different ways. Yeah. And the cup bearer said, oh, I made my mistake. Mm -hmm. There is a man, a Hebrew boy right there in prison who did something, who explained to me my dream. Right. And the king said, go get him. On that day, uh, Joseph did not know that was the day, but he had to be in perspective. Yeah. He kept his focus. That's he right. was ready, hallelujah, yeah. to hear the voice of God. Otherwise, he would have lo lost his talent, his yeah. gift. Yeah. Right. He was still working his gift. I'm speaking to somebody today. Amen. Even when you're going through, please don't stop working your gift. Yeah. Don't stop working your talent. Don't stop preparing yourself. God was still preparing him. He was still listening to God. He was still learning how to hear the voice of God yes. and hear what God is saying so he can help others. He was still in the place of helping others. Yes. 
And so he comes out and he quickly shaves and gets himself together and comes before the king. And then he, the king to, tell, tells him about the dream. And he says, well, king, God is going to do this thing. Yeah. Right? And then he began, he did not just stop right there. I know you all did. What are you going to do with my information? I'm going to hold it. No. He told him everything. Yeah. And he should do this. He should put somebody in charge. Yeah. And the king is like, who else? Yeah. And what he said was, who has the spirit of God? Listen, yes. you have the spirit of God. Yes, Lord. You have the spirit of God on the inside of you. The situations might change, but God doesn't change. Yes. Hallelujah. You, Your environment might change, but God still remains the same. Yes. Praise the Lord. You, Lord. It's the Holy Spirit on the inside of you that you take everywhere. Yes. They might say, well, the time in this job is over. Yep. You no longer have a job. Instead of you crying hot tears, let the devil cry the hot tears. Yeah. You move on because your assignment changed. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Prepare yourself. It is time to prepare yourself. Yeah. Some of you need to go back to school. Uh, yeah. I'm too old for school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can say, well, sign up for a webinar. <laughs> you can train yourself. Nowadays there's so much information. You can train yourself. Some of you need to go back to read through. To retrain, hallelujah, because you're about to lead some people. Yes. That's what happened to Joseph. All of a sudden, he's in jail, and now he's out, and now he is a second in command. Hey. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. He had to be ready. Stay ready. Praise the Lord.